Surge currents can damage equipment, cause failures, and shorten its lifespan. The Type 2 SPD is installed inside the distribution board near the terminal equipment. When tension increases, SPD discharges the surge current. The visible window indicates red when surge capacity exceeds. The floating switch for remote signaling indicates the status of SPD. When the red light is on, it's time to replace the surge protective device. Without turning off the power, replace the damaged pluggable module. In the distribution box, the main circuit breaker is 100 amperes. The upstream dedicated disconnector of the SPD should use a 32 to 40 ampere circuit breaker or fuse. The cross-sectional area of the live and neutral wires should be 2.5 square millimeters or above, and the grounding wire should be 6 square millimeters or above. The total length of the connections for L1, L2, and L3 should be less than 50 centimeters. SLP 40-275-3 S plus 1 is suitable for TT and TNS networks. SLP 40-275-4S is suitable for TNS networks. SLP 40-275-3S is suitable for TNC networks. A professional approach to surge protection will guarantee your electrical installations a long life. LSP, reliability in surge protection.